faster uh, motherboard. Faster motherboard. Okay. Embedded embedded motherboard uh, or uh, oh, okay. embedded PC. Mm -hmm. So the the uh, processor is now the dual core, mm -hmm. right? And two of them, and then it's got the uh, uh, it's got the more s the system memory okay. from the computer aspects, mm -hmm. not the scope acquisition, okay. but the system. And then uh, the hard drive is very fast, read right through a, a SATA. Uh, right, okay. right. And then now we've made in the A version five gig, uh, five meg standard yeah. instead of two point five meg on each channel okay. on the A version. M is multiple. No, it's multiple. Well, it's advanced math. It's long memory, uh, lab notebook. It is five gig interleavable. Uh, so now, even on the one gigahertz model of the Wave Surfer XS-A, A meaning the newer scope, it's still two and a half gig on all channels, interleavable to five gig. But when you do the M option, the M makes it five gig on all channels, not interleaved. Right, and you can push this over to another monitor and have dual monitor extend your Windows desktop. File and minima and uh, window it, window it. Yeah, now you can drag it over there. Yes. Yeah. Yep. You only have eight on the front, mm -hmm. but then you can work in between the points and interpolate to get up to eleven. Okay. And that's called vertical resolution, right? So you have your screen, two hundred fifty-six levels is eight bits, two to the eighth, but you can go to the eleventh and get more, but you only start with 8 bits. Yeah. What's unique about LaCroix is we give you choices okay. in, in the resolution. Okay. And we give you what the effective bandwidth is right there. Okay. So when you look on the screen <clears throat> and you touch the vertical descriptor, right, either with your finger mm -hmm. or with this um, or the front panel, uh, right over in, uh, in here, the noise filter, see how you can add in? A half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three. Okay. As you make a choice, it will tell you, given this amount of memory, 10K points, and this sample rate, the effective bandwidth of the scope is now at the minus 3 dB point is 1.2 megahertz. Okay. Even though you have a 1 gigahertz scope sitting here, mm -hmm. it's really now only a 1.2 meg scope. So, but we can leave the bits on there and let's touch the time base and go ahead and say, give me 10 million data points. Okay. Now, for this time base setting at 50 microseconds per div, we have 2.5 million sample points at 5 gigasamples per second. So, when we come back in, now we've made the scope. Just by adding in memory, mm -hmm. now it's a 300 megahertz scope, but it's a 9.5 bit front end. The time-based accuracy, this is five parts per million, right, which is much better than our competitors. Okay. So if you're down into this vertical resolution world, another is, is not just vertical but horizontally. Okay. What is the accuracy? Okay. This is five parts per million versus 25 parts per million. Yeah. You can do it with your finger and, or you know, touch using the touch screen. If you touch this, touch it twice, shut this off, now we're just looking at the zoom. Mm -hmm. Right. And we can still make measurements and things on stuff that we're not displaying, mm -hmm. where our competitors, if you shut off the waveform, you can't make measurements on it. If you wanted to, instead of looking right here, I want to look at this part right here. Can I just bring this over? Now you're moving this waveform. Yeah, you're moving to a different point. And right. Then now, your zoom, you, you zoom is still the same, but you're just in a different spot. Yeah. Okay. So, you can just move, you can keep your, your zoom the same just as you bring it along. Yeah, that would be one way, or or you just create a zoom on the part that you want. Okay, or you and just that, grab this one right Right. There. Okay. Then when you let go, that's what you're looking at over here. And, again, and, and you can see I added a label. Yeah. You can have multiple labels on a waveform. So, I pointed out 10 megapoints waveform memory dedicated to each channel. Go over here to utilities and status. 
And this tells you what's in there. So it's got HDTV and MassSurf is turned on. There's the advanced trigger package, and it's got long memory. But under options, this, these are the different codes that turn on certain features, yeah. like there's the advanced trigger. Here's HDTV. But right over here, the scope ID mm -hmm. and the serial number, these two is what we need. Yeah, that's right. And that. then we give you a code that you type in here. Okay. And then it turns it on. So just unlock the code. That's right. Okay. Exactly. And quarterly, you can go to our website and download the latest firmware okay. and get new features mm -hmm. added without paying or bug fixes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we don't have any, yeah. but there are there. They, they occur. So there's a, a package called Scope Explorer. Okay. It's available on the website and it's free. Okay. And it allows you to connect through GPIB or Ethernet or RS-232, not U, uh, USB yet. So when customers say, um, hey, can, I, can you store that waveform? You say, I usually ask, do you want the image or do you want the individual data points within the waveform? Okay. They usually say image, but they always ask it like, oh, can you save that waveform? Mm -hmm. You really want the image. Not the necessarily no idea. But now right. you do both or Yes. So under under print setup, here is if you save it as a file, you save it as a Adobe Photoshop, mm -hmm. JPEG, TIFF, PNG, bitmap, two different mm -hmm. flavors. Sure. Mm -hmm. So that's the so that is the wave the image. The image, okay. Okay. Now if you go back over here to file save the waveform now you can store it as binary, which means you can bring it back into the scope and keep working with the waveform. Okay. But you can't do that with all these other choices. Okay. But you can work with external packages. So there's ASCII, there's Excel. Mm -hmm. As soon as you touch it, notice it's a .csv format. Sure. MATLAB is a .dat and MathCAD. When you browse, just like Windows, you see that that there is a C partition and a D partition. Mm -hmm. The C partition is where Windows and the scope so uh, application software is. Sure. But this is your user data for applications, special, special custom stuff that we've done, documentation, hard copy, setups are here, waveforms. So anyway, that's, okay. that's where it's stored. And then the user can create a, a library. Or yeah, exactly, their own subdirectories within within or just within the partition, And this autosave, I do get some hits on customers saying, can I take a waveform, put it to memory, and then keep adding to it? Okay. And the answer is yes, you can.